With mPanel version 19 on the Fix Mesh Edges tool, we have three options of the ways to fix mesh edges, either in a straight line between adjacent poly nodes or fixing the mesh edges to an existing poly or taking them from an the existing poly to a new poly. We'll have a quick example of each of these. In Rhino there is a difficulty with this first method uh, which we will have to uh, work around. Let's uh, get rid of the frame here and say that we want to fix this bottom edge. We would expect to be able to draw a polyline. So now we're looking at the start of the polyline from just here to just here. And we would expect to be able to pick that uh, poly and mesh up and run the Fix Mesh Edges tool. But when we do, mPanel reports that it was su supplied with a line and a mesh. And this is because in Rhino, even though we specified that we want to draw a polyline, if it only has two points, it is regarded as a line. Knowing this problem, um, we can work around it quite straightforwardly. To fix this bottom edge, we'll draw a polyline which consists of more than two points, like so. Now, the Fix Mesh Edges tool will work just as expected. This problem only comes up when we are trying to fix a single mesh edge. Let's say that we wanted to fix this left edge and the bottom edge. Then we could draw a polyline from just there to just there to just there. And the polyline has three nodes, and so it will be correctly read as a polyline. And when we uh, run the tool, it all works as expected. So it's just a peculiarity when we're fixing a single edge that we have a that we have a problem there. There is an alternative way of fixing a single edge, which is to use the the second of the tools, where we're going to snap to an existing poly. So what I'm going to do now is draw um, a line between those two points. I'm going to convert that into a 3D poly with the same number of points as the mesh edge. And I'll just bring up the points there to where we can see that we have the same number of points as the mesh edge. And now when I select those using this second method of, atta of attaching to an existing poly, it uh, attacks through like that. It seems a more complicated way of doing it, but it does have um, a nice advantage, and that is that sometimes, not often, but sometimes you will need to attach to a curved edge. And I'll just draw here a sort of a random curved edge, and we can take that curve convert it into a 3D poly. So let me just again show the nodes there to show that that's a poly with the same number of nodes as the mesh edge. And run the fixed mesh edges tool and, and again it's pulled out. We're doing all of this of course looking down in top view. This, um, this curve may well have been uh, a 3D curve to where we to see it properly, we would have had to have looked in in let's say front view. The the last option on the tools is to move from an existing poly to a new poly, and this is a, a slightly different um, kind of idea. Let's say that we have this sail that we have already drawn with a three D poly fixing the edges. This 3D poly I know starts here and goes round this way. Let's say that we have a new 3D poly, which is perhaps a different job. 
with a different set of dimensions. By selecting those two, we can fix the mesh edges and the mesh corners, or more accurately, the points that were attached to the old 3D poly are now moved over to the new 3D poly. So I can delete the old one. I now have a different mesh structure, which of course is relaxable as usual. So that shows the, uh, the method, the three methods in the fix mesh edges. And with the, and it also highlights the problem that we have on fixing a single mesh in Rhino, which we have to work around by making sure that we have um, a, three, a 3D poly, a polyline with more than two nodes.